a beautiful day for a road trip. I'm excited about today, guys. Very excited. I'm headed out to a new body of water, and it's going to require a bit of exploring. It's actually quite a trip to get out here. A little better than an hour's drive to get out to this lake that I'm headed to. A very beautiful drive, though. I'm headed through a national forest right now. Got about 40 miles of national forest to get before I get to this. I'm surrounded by lakes. I literally have hundreds of lakes all around me where I live. And most of those lakes are some of the best bass fishing in the world. In fact, just off to my left right now, I'm passing one of the most famous bass fisheries in the world. That's Rodman Reservoir right there. World renowned for giant bass. And I'm going past it because I got some insider information on a true gem. I heard a rumor about this isolated little lake buried deep in the middle of the National Forest. It's not easy to get to. You better have a four-wheel drive vehicle. It's very difficult to get back there, but it's definitely worth it. This isn't just any ordinary little lake. This is a natural spring. The rumors I hear is this loaded with giant bass. It's gonna be worth it, they tell me. It is going to be worth it. Well, that sounds like a challenge to me. Find myself a hidden lake in the middle of a national forest that happens to be a natural spring full of big bass? Heck yeah, I'm game. Let's do this. Whoa, this guy's going off the road. Oh, buddy. Yo, did you just have a heart attack? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Wake up! Yep, that's right, you're still driving. Boy, oh, check that out. Is that what I think it says? It absolutely says that. That says bear crossing. Ho! Oh, so I'm about to go off-roading in bear country to a hidden pond full of bear food. Oh yeah, this sounds smart. All right, well, <laughs> This is exactly where they told me to turn in. I think it's time we need to put this baby into four wheel drive just to be safe. There we go. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> this is a rough road. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. They said take the road to the end. They said the pond be on the right. Well, here is a pond and it's on the right and it is very clear water. It is really, really clear water and it's beautiful. Look at this thing. This is in the middle of nowhere. Wow, look at that. It is gorgeous. This water is super, super clear. I can launch it around about right here for sure. Well, I did. I took the road all the way down there. And of course I got stuck. It was real hard to turn around. There is nothing down there. It's a dead end. It is nothing but swamp back there. And I got the roundabout in the water. We're loaded up. This is a dangerous situation, guys. It's not like it help can come get me real quickly. If they can even find me, I'm back literally in the middle of a national forest. I am in bear country and there was plenty plenty of berries and other bear food everywhere I looked out here so there it is though guys our hidden hidden pond it is beautiful so far here we go the hidden lake in the middle of the forest <sighs> let's do this here we are this is just a small pond guys super clear water I'm just gonna cruise around first there is another pond over there 
We got some nice shallow spots here with a little bit of lily pads. The bottom looks like it's covered. It looks it looks like coontail. That looks pretty cool. There's a nice bass right there. About a two pound bass right there. So clear, I can see him. <laughs> I might be able to get over to that other pond. All up and along the edge, it's probably about five, six feet deep. And it's got that coontail and that mossy or that real slimy kind of uh, weed that comes up maybe two, three feet underneath the surface here. But then there's like deep holes and pockets in it here. Like that just dropped off to about probably 15, 20 feet right there. I see lots of bait fish swimming around, lots of little minnows. There's another nice bass, another two pounder. Wow. So it gets pretty shallow there. You see all the different color variations, the pinks and the greens. And the browns that's a weed cover coming right towards the surface and then it drops off to super deep right here this is really neat guys well this is an incredible find because it, it is all the attributes of that natural spring that's super crystal clear water that oxygen rich that tons of tons of nutrients in the water healthy 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 and it's gonna be full of fish and I can fish it, that is phenomenal. I think I'm gonna try starting with top water or something maybe just slightly below the surface and uh, work my way around this lake. So I'm just going along right now. I'm thinking top water is probably gonna be pretty awesome on this lake. And I got a little bit of a breeze. You know what, buzz baits in the breeze, top water. This seems like this could be a good idea. Another good method that might work in here uh, fairly well would be maybe something like a weightless fluke but maybe whipping a fluke around here nice and slow might be uh, a really good option it's so cool here though guys this is awesome literally untouched fish in ultra clear water like this I, I you know what it, it can be very tricky not only are these fish gonna be a little more sensitive to things like light but they can sounds vibrations everything is amplified in ultra clear water as well as of course vision and sight they're definitely going to be seeing me especially on a hidden little pond like this they're not used to something else being out here targeting them me floating around on this little coconut here well that's not something they've ever really seen before it might be pretty obvious that i'm here as a, or i'm i pose a threat so I want to find, I want to utilize techniques today that really focus in on distance. Something that I can really cover, cover a bit of water with, but keep it away, away from me the best I can. First one, <laughs> he's just a little one, but we got one. <laughs> I've been working around this entire lake, trying just about everything. And my very first thought was to go with a fluke. And literally, my second cast with a fluke, I got a fish, finally. I should have just stuck to my idea of a fluke. This is super, super clear water. They can see what's going on. I should have been throwing this fluke hours ago. Here we go. Better fish. Whoa, he's off. Dang. That was a good fish, too. Jesus. Five minutes of throwing the fluke, and I just lost a good fish. I caught fish, two fish in five minutes. That was a good fish too, that last one. It's crazy fishing in water this clear. Literally, it's probably about 10 feet deep here with some weeds on the bottom, but it is crystal, crystal clear. Once that sun comes out, I see everything. And that can be a real challenge because they see everything too, which includes me. Now, I have seen a few fish smashing bait fish right in this little bit of grass in front of me here so what i'm trying now is i'm just gonna throw this this little kai tech swim bait just got it weightless on a four-aught little wide gap hook and i'm gonna try to work the edges the edges of the grass like this and see if whatever was smashed at those i can get the smash at this I, i've seen quite a few bluegill here that's definitely a for, main forage here but i have ton a ton of minnows is what i'm seeing Lots and lots of minnows, and that may be one of the main forages here. Lots of little baby bluegills here. That's what the big fish are probably eating. All right, let's see if I got them. Oh yeah, we got them still. There it is. 
back in the heavy stuff. Woo! Kept my distance from him. He was way back over there. Cast that little Kitek. There it is. Spent a few minutes looking around this ultra clear water, trying to figure out what's here, what kind of hatch is here, what kind of bait fish are they going after, and about where they're sitting at, and there it is. Not a giant. I bet you there's bigger ones, but he was way back in that stuff, and I learned that by being able to see what was going on. Awesome. He grabbed that little Kitek like It honestly looks super, super shallow, full of weeds where he was. But I think that's just it in this ultra clear water like this, guys. They're going to be hiding even more, I believe, buried even deeper. There's just so much light penetrating everywhere that you know, they need. They may need that little extra cover. Just had a first explosion in a little bit on that spook again. Of course, he didn't get it. And I just tried changing my cadence a little bit. And that's what triggered it. But every cast is about learning something. There we go, top water. Woo, took my spook in the clear water. Yeah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> he was the guy who was kind of out in the open too. Woo, not a bad one, a little better than what we got on the Kitek. I'll play top water all day long if you guys want to do that. Nice, beautiful in this clear water. Awesome. Just came up and slurped that down. Been fighting against this wind too much. Oh, I just had one swipe at it. I seen him come up to it. He's right, oh, he was right below it again. That's the good advantage of that clear water. I could see that one come up right underneath it, and he was just sitting there staring at it. If this wind wasn't blowing like it was, I probably would have had a chance at that fish. But unfortunately, the wind is just gonna keep me moving. Yeah. We got a decent one, guys. Oh yeah, he's staying down there. Got him on the lip or on the square bill. Oh, he's a nice bass. Nice bass. Nice fish. Stay on, buddy. <laughs> Look at him in that clear water. Oh, he's beautiful. He's barely hooked too. Look at him down there. Yes. Oh my God, he's barely hooked. Barely hooked. Just one hook. Get him in here. Get in here. Get in here. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. In that clear water, we just got a monster. Holy crap! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> right there on that little square bill. Oh my goodness! He's a beauty! I've been tossing just about everything. We finally got a good one! Yes! Oh yeah, buddy! Guys, he was so barely hooked. Just that one little oh, just that careful. That one little rear treble hook in him. There it is. The square bill. There's a beautiful four pound bass. Woo -hoo -hoo. That is awesome. What a giant stud. Tossing the square bill down there. It was actually fairly shallow water. He hit so soft. I honestly thought I just had some weeds. Notice the line was actually taken off to the side. I realized that's not weeds. That's a fish. And it's a good one. Woo what a giant pig. Awesome. great yeah just going along same areas that i was working with that top water and i had a few strikes wasn't getting as much top water action anymore yeah, the sun's getting higher it's getting warmer so i thought well let's work just a little bit 
below the surface. Let's try a little square bill. Let's see what happens with that. And sure enough, second cast actually, second cast. Boom, beautiful bass. Oh, so awesome seeing him in this, in this clear water like that. That was fantastic. Man, it's just such an awesome little place. It is so, so quiet back here, but so beautiful. Absolute paradise. This super clear water is natural spring water, is exactly what it is. Got another one. I don't think he's, <laughs> he's not very big. Or he's not, at least he's not putting up a fight. Now nah, he's not very big at all. But he did go for that. Oh, wow. What is wrong with this fit? Look at this bass. I have never seen something so mutated. Whoa, this poor guy is not healthy. He obviously starving. Wow, poor dude. Oh, no wonder why he didn't fight. He's got nothing left in him. Oh, man. That is terrible. Something really wrong with this guy. Not able to digest anything. Oh, man, that's too bad. Huh. Swim away, though. God, I hope he gets better. I hate seeing fish like that. Obviously, something was wrong with him. Going over a couple spots down here to see all the weed and then those lighter spots. It's about 20 feet down or 15 feet down, and that's hard bottom. And then there's weeds off the side. So this was would have been, more than likely been a really, really, really good bedding area back here. Look at that, on a frog. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. I was literally just wrapping things up here. I got one on a frog. That's my first bass on a frog all year long. Nice. That's just awesome. Guys, I was literally just about to pack things up and do a sign off. I was just casting out this frog just to get the line loose again so I could tight, tighten it up and pack it away. <laughs> this little guy slammed it. My first frog fish of the year. Absolutely awesome. 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 Super clear water, frog fishing. That is awesome. Thanks, buddy. Gotta love it. What an absolute blast. You know what? Coming out here, it was quite a chore. Yeah, you know, having a four wheel drive down some pretty rough terrain, bear country in the middle of a national forest. I really had no idea what to expect. The risk was definitely worth the reward. What a gorgeous place. This is truly God's country. Absolute paradise out here. I can't think of a place I'd rather be. It was definitely worth the risk of trying to make it back here. Trying to fish in this ultra, ultra clear water, now that's a different story altogether. It's definitely a learning curve. Fishing this ultra clear water like this, well, I'll put every, every skill I have to the test. It's tough fishing when those fish can see and hear you coming from a mile away. I can see down 25, maybe even 30 feet deep. And there's vegetation like crazy all the way down to the bottom. I try to use lures that targeted with that. Top water and things that I can cast a mile. Keep it as far away from me and my big scary boat as I possibly could. And what a day. I had a blast. I only had a short amount of time out here, but I will definitely be back. This Artisan Spring Crystal Ultra Clear Secret Hidden Little Pond is a true gem, absolute treasure. I know it's jam packed, full of bass. I picked up five in no time. On almost everything I threw, I was able to get a strike. That is pretty awesome. Oh yeah, I'll definitely be back. I had an absolute blast out here, and I'm so happy I actually took the chance to get out here. What a day, what a, what a time. I won't forget it, and I will definitely be back. Well folks, I really hope you did enjoy this, and I hope you learned a little something. If you did, make sure you smash the heck out of that like button. And leave a comment for me on anything else you'd like to see me film. I'll do my very best to make a video on each and every one of those. But most importantly, guys, subscribe to that channel. And if you're already subscribed, well, stay subscribed, because there's plenty more coming in Sawgrass Bass's future. One last time, guys, from Paradise, it's Captain Mikey signing out. The future is bright. You keep those lines tight.